Hey guys, uh, I'm so excited to film this video. It's going to be an Amazon favorites. At first I was debating on labeling it like an Amazon haul because it's not items I've had for too long and I don't want to be like clickbaity. But the truth is like, even though I haven't had these products for too long, I've been obsessed with them and they have truly made a difference in my life. And I think that is the whole point of Amazon favorites. It is something that you truly glad you purchased something that you use in your everyday life that has really made a difference in your life so i'm basically just going to show you guys what i got i finally dyed my hair if you guys don't follow me on instagram i will share the link down below i did a hair pick yesterday a selfie um which i don't do selfies very often but i needed it it felt so good to finally have my hair all one color my hair was a very faded ugly red for a long time i had dyed my hair red like the week before Halloween to be Jessica Rabbit. I might even do like a throwback Thursday post of it. Um, maybe I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. I literally have a picture. I'm staring at my picture of me and Jessica Rabbit right now above my desk. But um, what was I going to say? So I kind of just wanted my hair to be back to my natural hair color, which my natural hair color is like kind of the brown you see on top. Of course, red is really hard to remove for any that don't know that, but I'm sure most people know that it is one of the hardest colors, like red and pure black. So I am getting like a red tint throughout my hair, but honestly, I'm a-okay with that. I'm just happy to finally have it all one color. Okay, I'm going to show you guys Jessica Rabbit. But definitely keep an eye on my Instagram because I have tons of pictures from this night and I'm going to do like a whole like slide of it but this is me and my boyfriend as jessica rabbit if you can see it was supposed to be a lot brighter of a red i was a redhead for like three years because i was obsessed with it back in the day and it was like a vibrant bright i can see you down the street red but last time i did it it was done by not a professional honestly ugh, it's no offense to hairdressers i just can't afford their services i understand why it's expensive i know it's a lot of work but I just, I don't even pay to get my eyebrows done. I don't pay to get my nails done. I do as much myself as I physically, I mean, I don't even do my nails. But you know what I'm trying to say? I do as much as I possibly can. And I know other women see it as like, ooh, it's a pamper day. But me, I see it as an annoyance. I hate sitting there. I hate waiting for my turn. Then I hate making small talk with someone I barely know. It's just not my thing. So if I can do it at home, I will. So, um, yeah, this is legit just box dye um when i did my hair the vibrant red it was like a sally beauty product and you know i had to use developer and all that to get my hair to lighten for the red to show but it was done by a girl who is good with hair not a professional this time around it was my mom so i didn't get the same look i was going for but it was red and i was happy and it kind of doesn't look that different than what it is right now, which is kind of crazy because this is brown box dye with just the red underneath. But it, it's definitely not coming off in picture. I mean, it wasn't a vibrant red, but it was definitely like more red than this picture looks. But anyway, I always wanted to be Jessica Rabbit for Halloween, but I was like, I don't have the body for it. But the last few years, I've kind of just been like, screw that mentality. Do what makes you happy. Life is too short. And I love that my boyfriend wanted to dress up with me. Uh, I had a relationship in the past where... He wasn't a bad person and we're actually still friends to be honest with you but he just would never have dressed up with me <laughs> and my boyfriend now is just amazing and he would do anything to make me happy i've always wanted to do like a matching costume and it was so nice that he was willing to do that for me and we actually won first place but anyway so i'm going to show you guys the products that i have been using from amazon right now my hair is straight i straightened it last night with my new lange hair care product i also post that on instagram and it is a youtube video from last week i actually got the hair straightener for free i don't know if they're still doing that deal but you only had to spend like 50 dollars on the site and i was amazed it's one of those that's like a hairbrush i literally all i did was you have to pre-comb your hair so you don't have any tangles and then it literally is just like you're combing your hair it was so fast so quick so easy of course it's not as perfectly straight as it was yesterday yesterday but i would totally feel fine with just leaving the house right now so i love straighteners like that where my hair stays straight for a few days so that way i'm not exposing my hair to constant heat but i am obsessed obsessed with my new curler i don't have a picture of me yet with the curly hair i don't take selfies too often but i definitely will 
uh, next time I curl it and I will post it on my Instagram and I'm sure you guys will see it one of these days on YouTube although a lot of times you guys see me in my pajamas with my hair up I'm wearing pajamas right now but this I love that I found a new straightener that's easy and a new curler that's easy I honestly I like straight hair but because my hair is like on the naturally straight side uh, you know, sometimes I just, it's like kind of boring and I want something different. So I actually prefer my hair curly, but the wand was so much work. My, as you see, my hair is crazy long. By the time I would wrap the second half of my hair strand in the curling wand, I felt like it was never as curly because it wasn't feeling the heat as much. So I would have the top half really curly and the bottom half not as curly. Then I'd have to take the wand and just recurl the bottom half. So each strand, it was getting curled twice. It was... A pain if you guys can't tell so i found this beautiful new style hair curler it is amazing well if, i wouldn't say it's a hair curler it's probably more of a hair waver which is honestly what i want anyway a lot of times when i curl my hair i would brush them out and just have like a wavy hair the only thing i will say is when you do it with the wand the waves will last a few days uh where this already the next morning it was basically gone uh, but it's so easy. I could see myself doing this every day and having no issue with it. I actually saw this from a video uh, by Sarah Ray Vargas. Uh, she didn't link the one that she was using. She was like, oh, it was just relatively cheap. It was 30 something dollars. You guys can just look it up. She, I think she linked like a random one. So I don't even know if I ended up using her link, to be honest with you. Not, I usually do use YouTube links. But um, I think I watched that video that day on my iPad. So then I don't buy things on the iPad. I tend to just buy things on my phone. Um, so, and on my iPad too, I think it wasn't connected to my secure Wi-Fi. It's connected to like a free Wi-Fi in the area. So I never do purchases on my iPad. But anyway, so I bought this. I just literally typed in like three barrel curling iron. I will share a link below of the exact one I bought if you guys are interested. But it literally just has the power button right here. It will show you the degrees on the screen. And then there's a plus and minus. So if you want the temperature higher or lower. And then it does. I love the 360 swivel cord. It makes things so much easier. And it, the handle is like a velvety smooth like it's not a hard plastic so that's really nice it does have the kickstand and i obviously it's not plugged in there's no heat right now but and yes i wrapped up the cord because honestly i really like the box it comes in i feel like it makes it so much easier to store you literally just put the curler in and then just slide the cover on so because it has the nice storage i kind of kept the twisty tie to make it all nice and neat in the box. I don't know how long I'll do that. One of these days I'll probably end up throw, throwing the packaging away. But I don't know. It's just cute. Oh yeah. See it? It's so it's pretty. Oh, let me show you the brand name. Pretty Queen. And it literally says www.amazon.com slash shop slash pretty queen. But basically. Just so you guys can get it. You do have to get small pieces. Like this right here would definitely be too big. This is probably what I would grab. I usually section it when I do it. So I'll clip up the top hair and I'll have just the bottom half. And I will usually do four to six pieces. I'll do like two in the front, two in the middle, two in the back kind of thing. Um, sometimes the back can get really hard to get to, especially the bottom layer. You don't see it as much. The, the waves are going to sit on the top layer. So sometimes the back, I'll just make it like one bigger piece and it'll be more like five, like one, two, and then three, four, and then five. But anyway, basically... Let me show you with the bottom piece first. Because there is a technique you have to use differently on the top. So, let me take a size I would, a piece I would do. I could even technically turn this into two. I mean, it, it depends how tight you want the waves to be. But this isn't that bad. And basically, you would go, see how the hair sits between the barrels? Make sure it's fully open. Okay, it wasn't fully open. And then you just go as high as you can and you just let it sit for five to 10 seconds. I was literally just playing music, talking to my boyfriend while I let this sit. And then you lift and then just push it down and close again. And you kind of try to make the indentations kind of match. But honestly, I found it literally flowed so naturally. It would kind of just sit in place where it's supposed to. So where you see the little like wave, you want to put the next barrel in. And same thing, you just keep going down 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 
I have really long hair. Down. <laughs> I haven't got a haircut in a while. I still got to do that. Down until you're basically done. And then you will have wavy hair. The only difference with the top. I literally got compliments by friends. And I was like, I'll have a video up. Use my link. And they started laughing. So I'm definitely, I'm going to tell my friend once I post this video. It's going to be up on the last day of June. Today is the 29th. Tomorrow's the 30th. This will be tomorrow's video. I already have a video going up today. So the only difference is for the top layer where your hair is like, see, this is the part. This is the hair that's going to sit on top. The only difference is it's only right at the very top. You don't want an indent right there. It's going to look a little weird. So you roll it upward. So that way it has like a roundness to it. And it just looks more natural. So you hold this. 10 seconds, you know, listen to some music, whatever you need to do. And then the rest is just normal. Clamp down, clamp down, clamp down, clamp down. And you just do that around your whole head. And then you have really, really, really cute wavy hair. That thing was somewhere between 30 and $35. And I am legit obsessed. A lot easier than the wands. That's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> a lot easier than the wand. All right. So let's use that. All right. Now, so, I've been using this for a very short period of time. Um, I literally got this like last week. So I've only been using it for a week. So I'm hoping I see long-term results a year, a year from now. A few weeks from now. Um, honestly, you guys can see like my acne is getting really bad. I feel like it looks worse now than it did last week, but I honestly think this is helping it. I know that sounds weird because it looks worse, but I think it's finally bringing out all that gunk. And I think within a few weeks, once all that gunk is out, sometimes you have to bring everything to the surface and you look worse before you look better. You know what I'm trying to say? So I've been wanting one of these for a very, very long time. I never got it because I lived with my family, four people, one bathroom. It was always issues. I had to be in and out. 99% of the time uh we never took baths honestly it was always quick showers um and then I couldn't really store it in the bathroom because we had to have you know four people's worth of stuff so we had to be very specific what was in the bathroom and I know me if it's not in the bathroom if it's not sitting in my face I'm not going to use it that's just how I am and then I moved to, I lived with roommates and it was the same thing four people one bathroom and same thing we had to limit our storage in the bathroom so finally now that we're living on our own uh, I wanted it to be honest I forgot I forgot about it at first I had wanted it for years and then I just never got it and then spaced out about it but recently I watched a YouTube video with um, Remy Ashton, Remy Cruz. I'm not Rem Life. She goes by a few different names. Uh, she has like millions. So you guys might know who I'm talking about. If you do, comment below. If not, I definitely suggest following her. I've been binging her all of quarantine. I've been watching her for a long time. But I wouldn't say like I watch her video as it comes out. Like I'm not one of those people. Ooh, Remy posted today. But I'm just not one of those people in general, to be honest with you. I've been doing YouTube, and I definitely watch YouTube. It's definitely part of my daily routine. But I'm not a lot like, ooh, I know what day they post. I go on. I look, I look up for their videos. It's just like whatever kind of pops in my subscription box, whatever pops up on my newsfeed, whatever you want to call it, I watch. Uh, but I have been watching tons of Remy during quarantine. She got a house like right before this happened and she's been, she was posting almost every day on the vlog channel and it was all um, her decorating and I love home decorating videos. I literally just watched Lone Fox this morning as I was having my coffee. If you guys don't know who that is, watch that too. McKenna There's another one, Mr. Kate Millions. Um, I love like home decorating ones and uh, Remy doesn't usually do home decorating but because she bought a new home she was doing a lot of home decorating and during quarantine it was just fun to watch. I just love her personality too and honestly her home is beautiful. It's legit goals. But anyway, she had posted her morning routine video and it involved this facial steamer. And I don't know if it was this specific one again. Um, actually, it was. She kind of, she didn't do separate links. She kind of just did like a, she has one of those like links where it's like all her Amazon favorites. So yeah, it was actually her specific one. Um, and she uses it first thing in the morning to open all her pores before she does any of her cleansing, masks, moisturizing. So I really do think 
that it is going to make a difference long term i just got to give it a little bit more time i can always update you guys if you're curious it probably will be on my instagram i tend to post on there every day and just uh do you know it's it's one thing when you have to sit down and do a video and it's another one you can just make a quick post about something but basically this is it right here so you have to fill it with water obviously that's what steams up and it literally says right on the cup do not fill it more than 50 milligrams and this is exactly 50 milligrams or two ounces and you literally just have the steam coming out you don't have to have your face super close i always thought of it at, not like sitting my face on it but i always thought it had to be like right here and even in remy's video she's literally talking to us and she has it on the counter and you kind of just see the steam hitting and that's what works for her so lately that's what i've been doing i'm debating if i should get a little closer we'll see but honestly my skin feels great afterwards so that's it basically it did come i haven't even used it yet because i have one that i do when i use my makeup when i do my makeup but maybe actually now that i think about it i can keep the makeup one in the bedroom and this one in the bathroom why am i carrying it back and forth i'm silly but I find this one to be so friggin' cute. It has like little cat ears. And for $30, it came with this. It came with a steamer. And then it also came with like this little kit of like tools to kind of help remove the acne. Um, I know, I don't know about you guys, but like growing up, we had a lot of people in that sold like Avon around us and my mom does like Avon products. My grandmother especially liked Avon products. So when I was hitting like early teenagehood, sometimes I tell my mom like, oh, buy me one of the acne kits i forgot what their acne brand is but they have like brands i know skin so soft was like their lotions and i love them um but you know they almost always came if you with like one of the cleansers it would come with one of these and it kind of just helps you like pop the pimple well i got four different versions of that basically in this cute little like snap kit but that was it for 30 dollars. not bad whatsoever and obviously it's really easy you just hit the big power button wait for it to steam up do your face routine and that's done i can definitely do a video of um my skincare routine now that i'm like finally getting into it sad we've been quarantined for three months i could have been doing it this whole time but my mental health was not the greatest in the beginning and we were just kind of focusing on the apartment there's still stuff to do but it definitely looks great if you guys can tell i have my all my wall hangings behind me that feels great okay last but not least well there's actually a few other things but they all kind of go together so you'll understand that in a second but like i said i try to do anything to save money legitimately so i have not got my eyebrows done since i moved out of my parents house i used to get them threaded and since i moved out of my parents house i legit just tweeze um i tweeze my eyebrows and then i do like um a hair removal for you know over here and my chin but it like burns and i feel like i'm doing it like way too often so i decided to finally give in i've been wanting one of these for a while and i was like you know what if any time i have an excuse to buy this it's during quarantine i read tons and tons of reviews and this was literally the number one seller and it was on um everything proof beauty she is a youtuber i like she also recommended this she did a whole video on how to stay high maintenance because she considers herself high maintenance and had nail strips at home waxing tons of cool stuff and i was like you know what it, that's my sign i've been wanting it already i was already considering it during quarantine and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it so i picked it up so this one it was a little pricey to start because it comes with the melting pot the beads all that stuff but eventually i will only have to rebuy the wax and it'll end up being way cheaper and it should last way longer than tweezing and i feel like it's gonna be really satisfying to just kind of like whip it off tweezing it like there with every little hair and there it's like all in one shot um i literally read tons of reviews like I said, it was a number one seller on Amazon and all the reviews were really good. Some lady said she used to get Brazilian waxes and up until quarantine, she couldn't obviously get them anymore. And she did a whole Brazilian wax with this and she found it to be amazing. I mean, I don't know if I'll go that far. Um, I don't know. Shaving my legs isn't a pain to me. I don't mind shaving my legs. It's more, I'm more worried about like the eyebrows, you know, my mustache, my chin. I might do my armpits because they say... Uh, after you continuously do waxing for a long amount of time the hair grows less and less and that seems quick and easy i could just do it but my i have thick ass legs so i feel like i would be using a lot of wax <laughs> if i wanted to wax my legs 
and I feel like that's so quick and easy in the shower that's not that big of a deal so my focus is definitely my face so this one is the Melissa brand it comes in this really cute box and it literally just says a new beauty collection from nature and it that's what it says on top and then it says everything you need waxing at home so so far i've kind of just been keeping everything in the box to keep it all together um it came with four bags of hard wax so it did it doesn't say it on the bag to be honest with you guys it might have it on the piece of paper inside but um each wax is a different color and apparently the different color it's for like a different part of your body it has like a different i don't know if it's texture or essential oil in it it says it's more soothing for more sensitive areas but i'm not sure but anyway there's a black bead a pink bead a white bead and then a blue bead to be honest with you guys i didn't pay attention i just whatever one i grabbed first i melted and i used <laughs> that's basically it so i'm not that picky it's a wax it's going to peel off the hair the, the specifics don't really matter and then obviously just comes with the little um at home waxing instructions and then it did come with two size popsicle sticks the small ones for um the small areas of your face as you can see the face is the one i've been doing it's already getting a little more empty kind of just kept it in the pack to kind of keep it together so it wasn't all over the box and i haven't done any where i need the big ones yet this is more for like the legs i could do this for the armpit i might do the armpit because not that shaving my armpit is it is quick and easy but it just goes back so fast so it might be worth it since it does grow back less i don't know that's what they say we'll see and then this one came too. That's why this one was $50, if you guys are wondering. Um, originally she had a link, it was $40. And it sold out so fast. That's what I mean when it says number one tell on Amazon. So Everything Proof Booty is really good at commenting back. She has less than 5,000 subscribers, but extremely good content. Especially if you guys are into subscription boxes. She has like every subscription box there is. Oh, there's actually a, a breeze today. I opened my window. Um, she has like Fat Fit Fun. She has Cause Box, Ipsy, Boxy Charm. And I love that stuff. Obviously, that's what I show on my channel. So I do watch her stuff, especially because she's an annual member for Fat Fit Fun. So she gets the stuff sooner than I do. And she does a lot of research. So I really enjoy her channel. She really makes a lot of effort. Um, she will tell you the ingredients, if the company's cruelty free, stuff like that. So I, I always watch, especially when she does um, edit sales and add on sales to get an idea of like, hmm, what product do I want to buy? What is going to be available? Because she can see it sooner than I can. She, today, right now is their edit sale. And she posted four different videos, one for skincare, one for hair, one for beauty. I forgot what the fourth one was but i want to say it was four and she breaks it down into each category and she tells you all the products that are available so the add-on sale just opened for me yesterday it already ended for them because they annual they get to shop first so i literally have a notebook piece of paper with all the items that i was considering buying i'm going to go on later and do all that maybe i'll film a video for you guys on that if that would interest you comment below but anyway so i had comments and i said damn i've really been wanting a waxing kit for a while i was so totally, totally considering buying this one and the link says it's unavailable she's like wow that's crazy i always check the links before i share she, before I share them, she goes, well, here, it's the same thing, but $10 more because it comes with more. So this one came with another bag of wax, and it came with this for the extra $10. It came with a pre-wax treatment, like a prep, and then a post-after wax treatment to help soothe the skin. And then it comes with, obviously, the big melting pot, which I will show you guys right now. So this is the cover. You literally just put it on. And it does actually have little holes so like the steam can go as it's heating up. It has all the degrees in the front, the indicator light. And then this is obviously where you melt the wax. And then if you have, when you get the popsicle stick with the wax out, if it starts dripping, if you have too much, you can kind of scrape it on this stick. And then I like this bucket comes out. So this is where the heating element is. This is what's going to melt the wax. But then if you want, obviously, very carefully to take the bucket out, you have that as an option. 
uh, because if you want the wax to cool, if you feel like it's getting too hot, but you can lower the degrees once it heats up. I think it says to heat it at 200 something. And then once it's like fully melted, you're supposed to put it down at 160. I haven't done, I've only done one treatment so far. Um, so as I get used to it, I'll know better. I'll have to look at the book again. I know I read the book like through when I was doing it, but you know, it is a plastic top. So you're not going to get hot from this. You know, the heat's only going to be here. And then it is nice too. If you want to pull it out, remove the excess wax, clean, you know, hand wash this in the sink and then put it back in. But that is basically it. And then, like I said, it, it does all come together. So, I mean, I bought these two quick things. Uh, it says you should have some kind of like oil to remove any wax or residue that stays behind. So I saw this. It was literally like suggested on the bottom. You know, when you hit something at the cart, it'll say people also bought this. And this popped up. So it is a cocoa butter body oil gel. So I used this to move the, any of the ac excess oil that stayed around and even says formulated without parabens. And I figured this was also just good for dry skin in general. Um, and I love body oils in the summer. I have, I had one right on the side of me. Right here. This is what I've been using this summer. So see, literally, I was just talking about that. But the Avon Skin So Soft, um, especially like after my sunburn. I mean, the sunburn is gone now and I have kind of just nice tan. But I've been oiling basically my chest and my arms just to keep that skin moist because they were exposed to a lot of sun. So I figured I could use that one or have this one. But I thought this one, because I had cocoa butter, might be a little bit better. And like I said, even without waxing, I can use this on my skin. And then I grabbed this one. It is a hand and body lotion, cool aloe. And it says calms dry skin, non-greasy and fast absorbing. Honestly, I did not use this because I had um, the aftercare spray. But afterwards, once I run out of the spray or even just an extra little something, I figured the aloe cool would feel good on my skin, even like after a burn, even on my arms, my chest. So I figured this was just something good to have. This popped up at the bottom too. I believe this is an Amazon brand um, from what I saw online and they had shampoos, conditioners. So honestly, I was telling my boyfriend, I might start shopping at the store less and less once we use up the hair, the hair shampoo, uh, conditioners that we have, I might just start doing like Amazon orders for it. I love shampoos and conditioners that have a pump and they, this brand had it. So if that interests anybody, I can include some links below, but they had this exact brand and it was like coconut, had coconut oil in it too. Uh, shampoo and conditioner and honestly I would have got it already but I have plenty of shampoo and conditioner right now so as I run out I think I'm gonna re re replenish with an Amazon order it's just so much easier it gets comes right to your door I feel like in the store you gotta especially now with wearing the masks the hassle to putting things in the carriage out of the carriage on the belt in the bag up the stairs I say all the time like because I cashiered for eight years it's like we have so much technology now in 2020, but yet shopping is still, like I said, the window's open, so it just knocked over my lamp. Good thing it's a cheap five below lamp and it's not glass. This isn't the first time it's happened. No big deal. But, um, oh, what was I saying? Oh, I say oh, shopping is still one of the things that has not improved over the years. And now it kind of is with online ordering, especially since quarantine that has blown up. I know so many people who started doing Target pickup, Walmart pickup, and they were like, wow, I'm going to stay doing that even after quarantine. But it was like, I always thought like, well, like put it in the carriage, you take it out of the carriage, you put it on the belt. I have to ring it. I have to bag it. You put it back in the carriage. You bring it to your car. You take the bags out of your carriage, in your car. You drive your car to your house. Take the bags. <laughs> it's just like a lot, a lot of stuff. So by bringing it to the house, you eliminate a lot of that. Um, I feel like before a lot of people was like, oh, it's so antisocial, we're getting so lazy. And now since quarantine, everyone's been doing it. They're like, wow, it's so much safer. It's so much easier. So it's funny how sometimes things change with events in life like that. But anyway, so that was basically it. So just a little refresher. It was the amazing hair curler, um, the facial steamer, and the wa at home wax kit. So this one was definitely more like beauty skin based um um like i said today is the second to last day of the month i already have a few things i'm considering for july it's so addicting online shopping uh especially amazon because it has everything but uh so i think i'm gonna be doing these about once a month i mean there might be a month where i buy nothing we'll see even if it's like little things and it's not like 
a category. I can just show you guys a bunch of little random things. I know I love watching Amazon videos um, on YouTube. So I, like I said, I like to do what I like to see. So because it's something I enjoy watching, I figured I would do it for myself and film it. So that's basically it, guys. I will link everything below. Um, I will link my Instagram if anyone is interested. And last but not least, just, you know, like, comment, subscribe, um, especially if you like hauls, if you like unboxing, if you like Amazon hauls. I have um, a huge Dollar Tree haul, the most I've ever spent, literally over $80. I split it into two separate hauls. So that's going to be up this week. Um, I have my FabFitFun video, my FabFitFun add-on, my cause box is coming in. I think it's tomorrow. I got to track it again. I know it was beginning of July. Um, I'm so excited. That on sale, ad on sale was absolutely amazing. I actually liked it more than FabFitFun. I got so much stuff. I even got a present from my mom. And you guys will see all that. And then I ordered an Ipsy box. So that's coming just... Like I said, if you guys like unboxings, if you like hauls, definitely consider subscribing. And if you liked the video, like. It just helps with the YouTube algorithm. That's it, guys. Like Be safe. The second I stopped filming, it started to downpour. It's supposed to rain all week in Massachusetts. We had like a random heat wave and it was like 90 for a week. And now it's just a week of rain. But honestly, our earth needed it. I had not rained here in like two months. The plant, the trees, the flowers, all that needs it. So I'm fine with it. We have plenty of summer left. But no wonder I got that gust of wind. As you can see, my it fell over. Oh my God, guys. I legit had the window open for like a minute. That's how fast this rain came. I thought it was just like a little bit. But look at that. My whole side table and windowsill is friggin' soaked. Now I gotta dry everything. And now I have to shut the window. And that breeze was really nice. I'm so annoyed. All right, guys. I'm sorry. You're definitely going to be hearing the AC and the fan. I had to shut the window. The rain got insane out of nowhere. I actually took some clips of it. So I will show you guys. You guys heard my lamp fall over from the wind. It was like a warning to what was coming. It downpoured all of a sudden out of nowhere. Ugh, my cat. It was crazy. I looked over and my bedside table, which is in front of the window, was soaked. I had to stop, dry everything run around the apartment, close all the windows. It was insane. But I had one last thing to show you guys. It is not an Amazon product, but it is like a beauty care product, a skin, like kind of skincare related. So I figured I would share it here. I will post a link below if I can find it. I ordered this um, last week. I honestly have not used it yet because I wanted it to, you know, for you guys to see like the pretty packaging it comes in. Honestly, though, it's not like something, you know how there's like certain things once you take it out of the packaging, you never get it back in. I don't think that is the case with this one. This actually seems like really good packaging that you could like save it to take it to travel with. So basically, it's a company. It is a small company. I am trying to support small companies. I know obviously buying from Amazon, I am supporting, I forgot the, the guy who owns Amazon. I remember seeing you go around Facebook. He's like making millions during this quarantine because i believe it because everyone's sitting at home but i have always loved amazon even long before prime uh, my family's always been amazon people uh but i do try to small small, small businesses as well you guys saw i have done some etsy's or etsy orders but to be honest with you a lot um a lot of small businesses i do is more food like local around me little small fa there's a lot of small family businesses and small family run bakeries in my area and i have been supporting them fully gives me a break from cooking and uh but i have ordered from some small places online i literally as i film this in the background i am uploading a um subscription box that is 100% local I was able to pick up the box I did not have to pay for shipping but that is available to you guys if you don't live in my area it's definitely a different kind of subscription box that one has no skincare no makeup um I loved everything in it you guys should definitely definitely if you have not seen it already watch it it's um every single thing inside the box is from small companies small businesses that just started but anyway so this it says edam e it's only edam but it stands for each day a moment and i forgot i hate not giving credit what youtuber i saw this from if i can find it 
I will link it below. It was a YouTuber. Honestly, she just came up. I wasn't subscribed to her, but she had... Oh, this cat. She's going crazy because it's raining. I'm sorry, guys. But she um, is an esthetician. If any of you guys know who I'm talking about, she had a decent amount of subscribers, if I remember correctly. So I was like, wow, this girl definitely knows what she's talking about. So I did subscribe. But to be honest, I have not seen any more of her videos. They have not been coming up on my feed. And like I said, like I said to you guys, I am not one to like go search for a video. It's kind of whatever comes up in my feed. Oh, and I really hate that I don't know her name. But I know she did like one of her top viewed videos was like an at home facial so i'm gonna type that into my youtube and see if i can find her because i do want to give her credit but she was the one that shared these originally and i believe it was like an affiliate link she did get um a portion of the sales because there was like a coupon code i <laughs> am not important enough to have affiliate links but if her link still works if her code still works i will put it down for you guys so you guys can save some money because i want to say oh i wish i still had the invoice like i said this is older i did put it aside but my cat rummages through papers, so I can literally show you guys. I have a bag full of papers that need to get shredded because I went through all like my old bills, all my paperwork for the month, and I used to have just like a cute little bucket I used to keep it in. And then my mom has a shredder at her house. So sometimes we've been to in fire pits in the summer. So I'll just throw it in the fire. But I cannot leave it in the bucket anymore because of her. I have to leave it in a Tide bag because she plays with everything. She is legit going insane right now because the fan is blowing my planner. And the pages are lifting and she's going crazy on my desk with the pages. Anyway, so enough about the cat. Back to this. So it is a facial rinse kit. So if you guys... um just saw i literally showed the cute little headband that came with my um facial steamer so this does come with the headband but what really interests me i've never seen these before it comes for the wrists i've always had the headbands for when i do my makeup skincare uh you know i have three or four of them to be honest with you somewhere i know i have one specifically in my vanity whenever i do my makeup and i just put the other one in my bathroom with my facial steamer after i finished filming it for you guys because like i said it has to be in the bathroom for me to use it or i will forget i like i said i can do a routine once the apartment's 100 percent done i do want to do like a room tour so i can show you guys like where i have it in the bathroom for easy access but still hidden away so it's not like out for people to see keep your arms and counter dry when rinsing your face and it says kit includes two drip cuffs one headband and then it comes with two drying clips and a mirror cling so i do see the drying clips right here so um i don't have a towel rack unfortunately because i feel like this would be really cute in a towel rack um i could try to maneuver this to hang in my shower i don't know we'll see but basically this is so your um arm cuffs and your headband can hang on this so it can drip dry for you to use it the next day so it literally does come with everything it literally says one accessorize with headband and wrist cuffs and then two take time to wash or mask three rinse with less mess and then four hang to dry um so it's literally e-d-a-m like i just said each day a moment essentials.com but like i said i will post it below and um it says wash with the rest of your bathroom linen so you can literally just throw in the wash and then it says travel tip it even says keep this snap bag as a convenient travel case for your kit and the drying clip use thread the clip through the loop to attach to any bar or hook it says, as a full-time working woman and mother of two boys with lots to juggle, I found myself needing reminders to take time for myself. Women often put others first and don't make enough time for themselves. Edam, E-D-A-M, I don't know if you want to pronounce it as a word or, the, or say the letters. The E-D-A-M facial rinse kit is a daily reminder to take more me time, which helps us relax, renew, and refocus on what truly matters. Take time for yourself every day and enjoy rinsing your face with less mess. I know personally, um, I mean, I can just clip my hair up, but I do like the headband. The wrist is what really did it for me. I thought about how it drips down my arm and I absolutely hate it. So the thought that it's going to stop and get caught and like not drip all over my counter. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Why did no one think of this sooner? And like I said, it all comes in this cute little convenient bag and it does come with the cute little convenient clips. So you can see she just definitely likes 
the creator of this she decided to do like an unmatching but like very cute coordinated color pair and it said it literally says one says each day a moment you know take a moment for each day for yourself that's an amazing thing especially during quarantine and then love yourself first so let me put them on just so you guys can see they feel really soft too and they are very thick it's not like a thin little thing and you know i'm bigger so i mean i have definitely thicker arms i definitely can't do like you know the armbands for, like to hold your ipad um uh, mean your ipod or your phone you guys can see i got a little chunk i cannot wear those i honestly wear them on my lower half so um these do have a good stretch they fit very comfortably they are not tight <laughs> these feel so good i cannot wait to use these tonight now that i um finally took it out of the packaging to show you guys make this part of my skincare routine and then i will just show you guys this is a little headband oh so cute it came with a little sticker you can create anything go for it today at each day each underscore day underscore a underscore moment so i don't know if she has like an egg or um a facebook and th the ones i have are like a headband like the one i just showed you headband this one is actually velcro so that is actually really nice and again super duper soft so you would just ah, put it around. Oh my god. This is this would definitely be easier if my hair was up. I always do it with my hair up. But just to give you guys like a quick little idea, even if I didn't want to clip my hair up, I don't have to. So you can see everything is up and out of the way. Obviously, I would have my glasses off, but then I can just do my skincare routine. And I'm pretty sure everything would just slip. <laughs> right back into the packaging so let's try it out right now it has her little <coughs> acronym so because i thought of that as using it to travel with but honestly i didn't even realize that that was written on the back of the bag so that is honestly why she designed it the way she did so everything should slip in really easy so i don't know if i'm going to keep it like this in the bathroom or just keep the packaging in the bedroom and only take it for when I go. I am thinking about planning something for the end of summer. I'm a little worried with quarantine. I'm thinking about doing, um, I do live in New England. So it's kind of like a Great Wolf Lodge, but it's not. It's called Cape Cod Cotter. And it has like the water park in the hotel. This way I don't really have to leave and I just kind of be in one location. But I haven't officially decided. Me and my boyfriend usually do Hampton Beach every year for my birthday. My birthday's at the end of the summer. But that's a little more public than I want to do. So I don't know. But I would like to do something. It kind of sucked. It was like my first job with the summer off. And I can't even really do anything. I don't know. We'll see. Things are getting better at least. You know, I just want to take it easy. But as you can see, it literally all just slipped right in. So I could have been using it this whole week. But now I know. And then the clips are just chilling right there in the back. But um, I want to say it was 15. And with that girl's code, I got, this is why it was worth it too. It was free shipping on top of it. Because sometimes I hate buying like a cheap little under $20 item. And then it's like you pay $8 for the shipping. With her code, it took a very small percentage off. So I think I ended up paying like 11 or 12 And then I got the free shipping. So I, even though it's not my code, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to share it. That girl is going to get the money for it anyway, not me. Uh, I will put it down below or maybe I will just link her YouTube so you guys can go straight to her video. Let's see if I can find it. But if not, it is definitely worth I mean, you can always check out the website. There might be a code specifically on the website that would give you free shipping or some kind of discount. But I do think it is well worth it. I figured even though it's not an Amazon product, I would show it to you guys because it kind of goes with what I was showing you guys today. So sorry, this video is kind of all over the place. It is downpouring. Like I said, my all of a sudden I had not a flood, I don't want to exaggerate, but I had crazy water coming into my house and I kind of had to pause and stop and pause and stop. But that is it. I now showed you guys everything and I will clip it all together. But um, that's it. So I don't want to like sound repetitive, but again, if this is content you enjoy, just like, comment, subscribe. I have tons and tons of good content coming. I do try to post Monday through Friday, guys. It's not always exact. Uh, sometimes my Wi-Fi is not the greatest. But for the most part, I have been basically doing that. I've only been doing this for 
I don't know, two months, March, April, April, and May, May to June, maybe three. And I have well over 50 videos already because I've been posting Monday through Friday for you guys. I enjoy doing it, so that's why I've been doing it. But that's it, guys. Be safe. So, since I had to do tons of editing for this video, if you guys didn't notice, because of the wind, the AC, the fan, the rain, and my cat, I figured I would just add in this little clip. Basically, I wanted to show you, like, how I stored it. So, I have this very pretty, like, um, storage unit in the corner of my bathroom. I have a very small bathroom. So, the top is a bucket filled with toilet paper. I wanted to cover that up. Then, I have a cute flameless candle. My little thing with my cotton balls. A little thing with my Q-tips. And then, I have a cute little round dish that I put washcloths in and then that is like the only thing it's like functional not really decor but it was so cute i bought the marble tray it's like for a vanity at walmart and then i have like the things i use the most i've been really into tula and um i also i haven't used the cloth yet but i do use the mask and the bamboo bowl all the time it's true self organics and then um i just kind of left it on the marble tray so i can easily pick up the tray and bring it to the sink and then basically this is the part that closes that nobody sees as you can see and basically that's where i put it so my facial steamer is right there that pot screws on which i'm kind of glad because if it didn't screw on it would have been too tall to fit in that spot so you can see the head is kind of right in the back and then i have the headband right there i just put the headband in there now i don't know why i didn't do that sooner i was literally walking back and forth to the bedroom with the headband so now it's just always there and then I literally just have, you know, feminine hair care products, wipes at the bottom. That right there is tons of skincare. Like I said, I not the greatest as at using my products, so I'm trying to get better. That right there is like not cheaper stuff, I should say. Neutrogena Naturals is actually really good. Um, and then I have like Bior and I have like other good things, but I've been trying to use I don't want to say expensive because just because of what you pay doesn't make it better. But I just like trying to use more, I guess, like natural substances. And then I've been getting a lot of stuff through FabFitFun. That little black and pink thing right there is a FabFitFun mask. That purple clay mask is FabFitFun. And um, I've heard amazing things about Tula. And then True Self Organics is obviously an organic product. So... And then that's like a little micro, I have not used that yet. If anyone has done that, let me know. I honestly was like, not regretted the purchase, but I'm like too scared to use it. And then I've kind of wasted the money. But it's, fit, it's a, I think that's called micro needling. That head is filled with tiny little needles and I'm a little scared. And then these are some free samples I got from Beauty Society. I have a whole video on that you guys have seen. And then... You guys can see some of the Dollar Tree products I bought. There's the face mask wipes. I haven't used that yet. This is the little under eye roller I've bought in from Dollar Tree. These are the little shower things I've bought in from Dollar Tree. I do have one in my shower right now. So that's kind of like a backup. As it gets older, I have the next one to go. But that is basically it. I figured I would just kind of show you where I stored it. So every day I just come in, I just open it, grab it, put it right on my sink counter and do what I got to do. And with my little marble tray full of things. All right, guys, that's it.